guys a video here today, bring you guys a Photoshop tour of own very cool gaming thumbnail, basically, right? We're just gonna go with that, very simple. Um, basically, last time I did that was, uh, last time I actually made a video on the gaming thumbnails was about three years ago, and that's honestly way too long. Um, and also, it, can't, it became like a meta. I was, I was like really surprised on how many people actually watched it, how many people actually used it. So I thought, again, I'm gonna update it for you guys and show you guys how to make something more clean like this. Um, it's actually less than like seven layers or so. It's honestly just your background, your gradient, your text, I'll say a hole in one kind of thing. Um, a very simple uh, stock here and then a PNG this PNG can be replaced with yourself or a different character of course um for this instance, I am using a Fortnite background and a Fortnite PNG, but of course, this is very broad, and this still the, the the thumbnail itself is still very broad and not like super forced to be just Fortnite. So just understand that as well that you use the same exact techniques, but just use whatever assets you guys uh, you know have according to you. You know what I mean? Uh, with that being said, though, <clears throat> there's two different styles. This style right here is really just one more thing added. Just this is just another glow. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, it's very cool, very simple. I'm gonna show you guys with this, and also of course, two likes on the video equals a secret down below, which will most likely be the PSD of this video here today. Um, today, excuse me. So if you guys want to, you guys can go ahead and change the stuff around and then basically use this as your thumbnail template um, for those who just really don't want to really go for it. And, you know, honestly, just understand though, it's not going to be as, as, as uh, how do you say, original you know what i mean so of course give it a shot before you go ahead and just download this just use this kind of thing you know what i mean um so yeah also the uh, fonts i'm using here today are burbank so these uh you won't and also the word believe is burbank and then this uh this game here is called uh excuse me the font is actually arrow so these two fonts probably like everyone uses already so i chose to uh already have them oh that was my phone <laughs> my, my, my bad um so yeah let's just go ahead and get this thing going and uh yeah let's just let's just jump right in all right, homies, let's get this thing going right here, right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, just get rid of this. And the background I'm actually using for today's video is just a simple little background I found on Google. So if you guys want to, make sure you guys are choosing really good, high quality photos. Um, it's honestly just gonna make the bigger difference. Of course, if you're using a crappy photo that is like super small, right, and kind of expand it so much and it's super pixelated, you're gonna have a crappy thumbnail by the end of it because honestly, it's just gonna look like a low quality thing. But even though if you have followed all the steps, so pick your assets and make sure they're, you know, at least somewhat really nice, you know what I mean? Or somewhat HD. Um, this one here is not that HD, but it's also HD enough where I feel like I'm comfortable with it. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and just start off with our gradient map. So this gradient here is a gradient that I personally just kind of found and kind of like wanted to try to, you know, experiment because I would I didn't like to use black and white. It just felt too bl uh, boring, kind of bland. Um, like honestly, if you look at black and white, you're just like, it just, this right here automatically says to me, it's just not, it's not gonna look good, you know what I mean? So I ended up going, uh, going through like a really cool, um, I guess you would say gradient map exploration, right? And uh, just so you guys know, gradients work on the left-hand side is your shadow. So the shadow side is actually uh, just a pure black. And on the right-hand side is all highlights. So for this uh, right-hand side uh, color here, I have the hex code 353943. Now that should be basically everyone's starting point for this case for this tutorial right here. Um, now, keep in mind as well, this does have a little bit of a blue, uh, excuse me, a blue hue to it. You can see on the right-hand side of this little table here that it, it's blue, obviously, right? So if you guys want to change the color just a little bit, maybe like to have a little bit of a different, uh, I guess, customization to your thumbnail, maybe change the hue table a little bit more. You want to say, hey, I want a more of a yellow, uh, more of a red, more of, a, more of an orange. Now, if you're saying to yourself, what I'm saying to myself right now is saying, hey, it's not actually showing up too much of an orange, just move this circle here a little bit more to the right and like a little more up. So you mean, so, so keep it around that area, but just understand you could of course customize it for other colors. Um, see how like that purple looks really, really good now. So just keep that in mind as well. But for me, I'm gonna say, hey, this gray is pretty good. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna take my adjuster, which is that little middle, you see the little middle diamond, the midpoint here. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure it prefers or preferences the highlights. So if I move it toward the left, you see that the highlights take more control, that highlight color, excuse me. So I'm just moving over just a little more to the left. That way I can bright up my image just a bit. I'm gonna say about uh, 44 is pretty good. I press OK. So next up, I'm just gonna say straight into the uh, actual text here because I feel like this is the most important part. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write the word believe. Now, self-conscious, uh, if I'm spelling this wrong, I, this is one of those words in like preschool, bro, where I was just like, I can't, I don't know how to spell it. So I just always said be lie and then V. -E. <laughs> Does anyone else like have words like that? I right, please tell me I'm not alone. Um, so I'm gonna say believe right here, and then I I said you won't believe, right? <laughs> you guys saw what I did there, right? You won't like every single YouTuber ever, and you also <laughs> I put the chicken. So come on, like that was if you didn't laugh just a little bit, uh, maybe I'm not the best, uh, not the not the best comedian. You know what I mean? Not the best. All right, so you won't believe uh, this. What did I say? Video? This game? This game? Okay. All right, you won't believe this game. So first things first, I would say your text should be fairly big. Don't like. I'm gonna say I'm gonna just quick, quick go through it really quick. Don't, don't, don't do this. Okay. There's not enough. There's not enough breathing room for this actual text to be. I guess it's legible, of course, right? But there's not enough space for it to feel 
comfortable in quality. Um, it's just one of those things that happen as a designer. I would say smaller than this, you're not utilizing as much space. Um, maybe if you're trying to be like a little bit quirky, right? If you had a pretty cool mid-sized text here, but you said, hey, I want to make like little quotes and you want to put like little quotes around, that's a pretty okay size. But I would say, honestly, that a size around here is a pretty good size, right? I would say this is okay. I think it's uh, close enough. Yeah, it's fairly close. A little more bigger, okay? So I'm gonna make this uh, also clear. You guys should also mix up your thumbnail uh, fonts. So you can use one as a primary thumbnail font, but also spice it up a little bit. So I, for me, personally, you can use either the middle. Uh, I usually say if I'm three stacking, I'll use the middle one to change the font around. Um, but I, mean, I personally like how it looked at the end result with just not changing that one and changing the bottom one. So you say, hey, this game, and I think Air looks really, really good with uh, the Burbank font. But you can also mess around and say, hey, Painted Lady, you know what I mean? If you, if you only had one word in the bottom. I understand the fact of just not understanding, I guess, like typography sometimes, but it's very easy to just change one word of the font and make the thumbnail just kind of like liven up a little bit. So I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to change this this game word uh, into arrow, make it a little more smaller and make that look really nice and just pretty right there. So. I'm not gonna space it too much right now because the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw on my Believe text effect. So for this one here, I actually had a layer style. I'll go through it with you guys as well though. But this is the layer style right here that I began with. So this right here just literally starts off with a uh, gradient overlay. So on the left hand side here, this gradient is a uh, hex code FF9D2A. And uh, that's for the highlights and shadows, but also this doesn't really count for, I guess, text in a way. It's just more or less two colors combining, right? So on the right hand side though, I have <laughs> hex code FF5527 uh, and then on the middle one here closer toward the highlight side I have FF5527 just kind of like I guess prefer I forgot why I did this also I think if I just change the color around you can see that also kind of still ho holds the two orange colors but also you can throw in another color of, of blue or something like that but I would I wouldn't recommend this too much I'm honestly gonna say I'm gonna keep it simple I'm gonna delete this one and then just do something like this right and I'm just gonna take my midpoint make sure I prefer right in the middle so that way these two colors uh, house their their own um, you know separate even playing fields. I'm also going to make this yeah, orange a little more yellow. So this is the hex code now FFBB2A on the left hand side and then on the right hand side FF5527. So very simple, right? Press OK and then I'm going to say drop shadow a little bit here. So the drop shadow should always correspond personally for me with your uh, gradient overlay color, your main color. So basically what I ended up doing to find this color here, um, I kind of switched up a little bit, but you can click on the actual text itself. Excuse me, I guess you can't, uh, I forgot. You have to be um, clicking on the actual, to be able to do that, you have to, oh, it doesn't work like that. It's an illustrator, sorry. Anyway, when you change your color, just say, hey, I'm going to put it to orange really quick and then I'm just going to drop it down. But then if you say this kind of looks, you can kind of say you don't want any mustardy color. So that's why I kind of move a little bit further down and said, hey, I move further down and I found this really nice red. So I would just say stay around this point over here, right? You can see it just stay around this point, like bottom uh, right. And then just kind of find this right, nice dark color that complements the actual orange. And for this case, I just found this color here. I'm going to just cancel really quickly and control Z. I'll just put the layer style back on so I can get the same exact one. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to change this again too, though. And like this, you're probably like, Zesca, what the hell? I'm just like, I wanna, I wanted to make sure I got the same one because I, I feel like it's important in that sense. Um, 5C080A is the hex code that I use. Really nice little red here that complements the orange. Press OK, press OK again. It's not done, however, yet. You can see on mine here, it just looks a lot more vibrant, a lot more playful. So what I ended up doing is double click back on it really quickly. And I'm gonna just go to effects. If yours, if you ever have styles and you can't see all your effects, just click on the bottom left here and choose all effects. Um, I'm gonna throw in a inner glow, which happens to be this really very simple thing. I'm gonna put my blend mode from normal to uh, screen here. And what, if I had it on normal, as you can see, if I just put this up, it looks okay. But when you put it on screen, it kind of really combines the color more or linear dodge add, I would say even more as well. But also, when you change the color, you need to change the color as well. So I'm gonna change the color, but I'm gonna choose a pretty cool, let's say, let's say blue mate look good. Let's put this up a little bit more. I'll throw the size down just a little bit more as well. I would say a nice little bluish tone. The thing is, if you use orange, it's of course it's gonna look like it's just gonna look a little more too flat, I would say. So I kind of personally use, even in my example, I use a nice little purple. Uh, I think that looks pretty freaking badass, honestly. So I'm gonna say the hex code FF36F8. That looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, I definitely like how that looks. I'll just say a little more size, maybe. And I'll call that, I'll call that complete there. All right, press OK. Sweet. So for the you won't text here, I actually end up doing something very, very simple as well. I end up starting off with, <clears throat> I can start off with a, a, a gradient, excuse me, right? Gradient overlay. 
I believe for this one here, all I ended up doing was making a very simple white on the left hand side here, right? And on the right, on, excuse me, on the left hand side, on the right hand side here, I choose this really nice simple blue. Um, very, very offset blue, but still, you can still tell that it's not purely white, and that's the whole point of it. Um, because you can probably tell if, if I showed you guys in the beginning, if I turn off the, the layer styles that I put on for the you won't and then this game, um, you would see that it's not actually, it's, it just looks a lot better, preferably, right? So also, I'm going to take this off of Reflected and put it on Linear. So I want a Linear, just very simple white, and to this offset kind of bluish tone, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to throw on an Inner Glow, and for this Inner Glow, I'm going to throw on... Uh, screen take my size. I think the size looks pretty good actually and the, the opacity is actually pretty good as well You can start seeing how it looks right here, right? And I'm gonna throw on also a drop shadow So for this here take my blend mode put it on normal opacity hundred percent for now Take my size throw it down to zero and then take my distance and throw this up So I'm gonna move my angle around a little bit too. Also do not use use global light You're gonna mess around with these over here. You see how I mess up with it a little bit I will if I turn it on you'll see that it moves with everything you want to make sure this is turned off for the sake of you not having to go back in and fix it like i have to so i'm going to just choose the same exact background color as this um, i'm going to take my distance excuse me and lower this down a little bit more and i'm actually going to say the the or the red usually i would say correspond it with the same thing you put in the middle text but i'm going to say here for this one i'm going to make it nice blue like something like almost like this tone and throw it down even further i see that's pretty good press okay press okay uh pre press okay again and i'm gonna take my um distance here and fix this i'm gonna keep that at 90 and lower this down just a little bit maybe so now the you won't looks pretty good now so you can even see it in here see i have i actually do i have a stroke on it as well so if i want to i can put a nice little stroke on it too put a stroke one size stroke and i'll say hey i'll make it blue as well again just like so press okay Right there we go. So it just looks way clean. If I turn it off, you can see it just looks so flat, kind of boring. But you turn this on, it kind of adds just a, that little bit more character that helps that design just kind of pull through. So I'm gonna say, hey, right click, copy layer style, uh, right click on this this game, paste layer style. Right, very simple. Throw this down a little bit more. Nice little spacing here. Now this little cool part here is all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control T with all the things selected. So I ended up doing, it was selecting the first layer of the text, which is this one for me, holding shift, selecting the bottom layer, the final bit of the text, so that way they're all selected. Control T, and then I like to right click and then skew, move this a little bit to the right, just a little bit, um, especially if the, your, your font's really italicized, like for this in case, arrow is already italicized. I just kinda like to still do it sometimes. And now for this, once it's uh, skewed, press okay. I'm gonna group it together. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, you don't have to group it together, but for this case, I'm just going to say, hey, just tilt it a little bit to the left. Make it a little bit bigger if I need to, and I would say that's pretty good. Just like so, I think. I'll make it a little bit more bigger. All right. I definitely like this. Sweet. So, you're saying to yourself, how do you get that really cool glow? Very simple. I say it all the time in my live streams. On a new layer, I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to select with a soft brush, by the way. This is a very simple soft brush, right? You see my zero hardness, a pretty good size here. I'm gonna just hold Alt. When you hold Alt, the color picker actually, the little eyedropper tool, as you can see on the screen right now, uh, ends up showing up. I'm gonna select a very nice bright orange here, and I'm gonna select one uh, click, excuse me, one little click right on the word believe on the same exact color. So if you have a blue for your gradient, use a blue, you know what I mean? If you have an orange, obviously I'm using orange. I'm gonna take my blend mode from normal and throw it on linear dodge add. And as you can see, you get that really, really nice, cool, rich kind of glow, which looks super, super dope in my opinion. So I'm going to say, hey, that's pretty much done there. I'm going to go ahead and go to this little pack here because I just dropped this in here for now. Um, and I'm going to say, hey, throw this here. And I'm going to put my little PNG here. So in this case for you guys as well, this can be a PNG of yourself. This can be a PNG of whatever game, like I said, you, you're basically choosing. Um, I'll say this looks pretty good here. I'm also curious to see. You can see, I, if you mess around with the hue and saturation as well, you can also do this in post, as in like with your uh, color correction afterwards. So I wouldn't really focus on this too much, but if this case, I was just trying to see if there was a better color to kind of choose, I want to move it kind of like negative nine a little bit more. I just feel like it, the it's a better uh, better suit, I guess you would say. So I like this pretty much. I'm gonna say, hey, the text here, uh, excuse me, the PNG here. If you're using a PNG for players, you can pretty much follow what I'm about to do right now. For yourself, I guess you can follow it too, but it looks really, really good, I guess, for like character PNGs. So this is the layer style that I pretty much put on for the little characters. So first thing is first is I'm gonna throw on a gradient overlay, a simple black to white gradient overlay, right? Uh, scale 100% that way it's uh, strictly in the middle for some reason when I press zero my uh, uh, Delete uh, excuse me my uh, decimal key kind of pops up So I'm gonna make sure I move my screen around just a little bit more So I want the highlights on the uh, top side and on the bottom side. I want the uh, shadow So I'm gonna throw this 
onto linear dodge oh excuse me uh color dodge throw this down quite a bit i would say about 35 percent or so then inner glow now this part is really cool here because i'm just going to simply just take this i'm going to throw this on overlay right pretty good size here just like so the inner glow i actually want to see if i change it to yellow as well if i change it to yellow throw it on linear dodge add put the opacity up a little bit more there we go so you see, I just took a little, a simple little orange. You can even just choose the color on his, uh, the actual outfit itself. But I just choose a nice little orange, uh, linear dodge add, and just looks really, really nice and clean. Nice little glow there, as you can see, right? And then final, I think I put a nice little outer glow as well. And with this one here, blend mode screen, overall pa opacity 35. Uh, basically, the same thing I believe we had on the, uh, the you won't or whatever, right? And then size seven. I think it looks pretty good. And if you want to also, if you don't have to also keep it super tight like this, you can have your size quite a bit higher. Take this, put this on like, uh, let's say this little orange, and then I'm going to throw this opacity up a little bit more, right? You can mess around with this a little bit more if you want to. I don't know if I actually did this for this one. I didn't, and I see, yeah, you see how tight I kept it, the outer glow here? So personally, I would say just keep it pretty much tight for this, in this case, but I'm going to say, hey, if you wanted to go ahead and just learn how to do that, just kind of just, just bump the size up a little bit more, but I'm going to keep this tight like I had it before. And that looks pretty good to me. Sweet. Now I'm going to throw in one little simple thing as well. I'm going to throw in a very simple, uh, just kind of like a simple little thing. Like just a little half tone maybe might look good. Same thing I did for the actual one. Is, I'm going to choose a different one though this case, in this case. excuse me. Put this on white. Nice little simple. Just a very simple asset. Might go a really, really long way. You can just really type in like half tones on Google or something you want to make it yourself if that's the case you can do that as well but maybe some really cool very simple asset that kind of like fits in the scene itself or in the thumbnail itself um whether it's a texture whether it's like I said speed lines if it's Fortnite um if it's like Call of Duty maybe you want to put a gun or something like that that could be pretty cool but you can say here basically says so hey I'm done I don't want to do anything else but personally for me I like to add this little, little touch right here so I'm gonna take my new layer um, actually, no, not a new layer, my pen tool, excuse me. So you can press P on your keyboard to uh, just kind of quick go to that shortcut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and kind of, you see how I set up my chicken to be the top layer here, uh, to, excuse me, the top layer to hit the top of the actual doc, uh, document size and the bottom link here also hit the bottom of the actual document size. So I'm going to go ahead, also document size, just quickly, quickly. It's probably a little bit more, a little too late, but hey. Um, tw uh, 1920 by 1080p, basically what I use, uh, 300 resolution for no apparent reason. You can use 72, honestly, it doesn't really matter, um, in this case at least. So, I'm going to make this nice little pen tool so I can say, hey, I'm penciling so that way this entire side right here is now, you know, mine doing. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my little uh, gradient map here. It's going to automatically place the orange only on that side, and that's basically what I want. Oops, I didn't mean to delete the mask though. Um, see how that orange is basically placed in that side only now as well to kind of get the background to be shown a little bit more You're gonna have to delete this part here, right? This gradient in the background over here So simply all you have to do is hold control Click on the thumbnail of the gradient that you just made with that orange or whatever color you end up choosing Right click that thumbnail go back to this thumbnail uh, the bottom gradient one here and then you can press alt backspace uh, not all backspace control backspace either or control backspace quick fills in your highlights or whatever you basically control backspace clicks in the foreground all backspace uh, quick fills the background um, so in this case here the yellow is gonna be deleting uh, excuse me the white is gonna be deleting on the thumbnail so when you put on a white here let me just do it for this I'll take a brush for this instance if I have a black brush if I fill this in um, a white brush if I fill this in, excuse me. If I fill a white, uh, see how the white brush is basically putting it back in. If I take a black brush, however, right, and I, you know, erase it, that's how the thumbnails basically work. These are basically layer masks. So what you're gonna end up doing is you can erase things and put them back very, very easily. So that's all I basically did was I erased only this section here by cl uh, control clicking on the thumbnail of this gradient map right here. So when I have this done, all I can do now is I'm gonna go back into this. Let's say, hey, let's change this, uh, change this around a little bit. Let's say, hey. We'll choose this to be a little bit more like, maybe like this tone. I want to see what happens if I flip it. All right, so if I flip it, you get a little bit too much of the purple. So I'm going to say purple. I don't want this. I want more of an orange. Um, I would say around here is not too bad. Because I'm going to do it in a second. It's just going to make it a lot better any second. So I'm going to say... That's pretty good. So, left hand side, if you guys want to copy mine, if you're using orange, uh, FF9D29. And on the right hand side for the shadows here, I have A7, um, A74, 
A, 0, C. Press OK. And as you can see, my half tones here, I wanted to prefer the left hand side orange that I had before because it looks a little more better. Press OK. Now, to make this side, uh, of course, glow, what I'm going to end up doing is make a new layer, take my brush, take a nice uh, soft brush size, you can see here, right? And I'm going to just click on this orange. And I'm just going to click right, a pretty big size brush. Nice smack right there. Throw this on uh, from normal to linear dodge add. And it'll automatically, on its own, kind of just kind of fix itself. You know what I mean? And kind of have a little more richer of a, of a of an orange kind of popping out on the left hand side. So I'm just going to kind of move around this hue. See if I can get a better orange. I'd say this is, you know, that's pretty accurate. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not too much, uh, I'm not disappointed with that. Um, so yeah, I would say this is pretty much done. However, I want to make sure I show you guys how to do this really, really nice, cool, rich tones. And basically, that's the final part here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold uh, Control, excuse me, I'm going to hold Shift. So, the first layer, whatever the top layer of your actual document size is, don't worry about this for me. Uh, whatever the top size of the document layer is for yourselves. So, it should probably be the light for the, be the final layer. You hold Shift, you click all the way to the background. And when you do that, when you hold Shift, it selects every single layer in between those clicks. So, now you can do is compress Control J, which will duplicate. And then Control E will actually merge it all together. Now, when you have this set here, all you have to do is right click, convert to a smart object. You want you're gonna want to do that, excuse me, because you're gonna use filter, uh, camera filter raw. This is a CC color uh, color correction, basically, right? So the reason why I want to put a smart object is if I press OK and you're finished, you did all your stuff. If you you don't have to go in through like this weird control, you know, control Alt Z to go all the way back. All you have to do is just click back on this right here, and it'll bring you back to your settings. But for me here, you'll see this little Y. I like to see the before and after. So this is uh, if I click this Y, it'll show me the before and after. The first thing I'm going to do is throw my bright, uh, excuse me, throw my vibrance pretty far up. I would say 45 is pretty good. Now clarity doesn't always work, but you can see if you throw in clarity, you get these really cool dark. Like I guess it, it works for certain games, but clarity does not work for this case here. So I'm not going to even try to put it on. But I would also throw my whites up pretty far, right? It'll help our highlights a little bit more. Um, in the in the in the case of our brush hits, I meant to say. But also throw your highlights up as well a little bit more. And then if you really want to, you can go to your hue and saturation um, adjustments here. So I would say, hey, my hue. I want to change this hue and make it a little more of a darker orange, right? So they can say that. Let's get the really, really nice little orange here. You can see the difference here. Already looks super, super dope. Um, and your saturation, if you want to say, hey, you want to make it even more saturated, you definitely can. Um, but I would say this is pretty, pretty average. I would say about 10. Is you know, it doesn't mean to be too much. I think this is okay though. And uh, once you're done with that, you can press OK, and you got this really, really clean thumbnail. So you're going to ask me, wait, how do you save it? Uh, all I like to do is Control Alt Shift S, and or you can go to File, Export, uh, Save for Web. So for this, most of the times I have to personally save mine under JPEG. Um, however, if you guys go to your PNG 24, and if it allows you to save it, of course you have to stay below two megabytes. So if this is going to be like 2.4, I can't use that. So I'm just going to quickly check. Yep, it's 2.53. So unfortunately, we cannot use this if you want to keep this really high resolution at least. Um, so what I end up doing is always just throw it down to JPEG. Take my uh, uh, quality here. And right now it's 1.1. That's perfectly fine. You can save that. It'll upload to YouTube. Perfectly fine. Look really nice in HD. But also, if it's like still too high for whatever reason, if you put different assets in it or whatever, just take your arrow key, click down once on your quality. And you'll see on the left hand side here, it'll go down. So you go down until you need to get below two point whatever. Uh, yeah, you gotta be below two point up, right? So uh, yeah, just JPEG, 100% opacity is what my go-to is really honestly. And uh, yeah, that's that's the thumbnail tutorial. So it was 22 minutes. I hate myself. I did say if it goes before <laughs> above 15 minutes, I'm gonna hate myself. I think I said that in that clip. If I didn't, I did say it to myself before I started this video. Um, but then since I believe I got everything I personally wanted to. Um, I don't really like to rush this kind of thing anyway, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for you guys to, of course, try this out yourselves, have your thumbnails look really, really good, and uh, hopefully save you guys some money if you guys are personally looking for people to get thumbnails for and you're not finding the right person, you know, the right person is always yourself sometimes, so I would say, hey, just try to go for it, and um, yeah, change up a little bit kind of things. I'm also curious, you're probably also, excuse me, curious to the fact how I did this uh, to make it a little more vibrant. All I ended up doing was making a new, a new layer, taking that orange brush, soft brush, Simply just take a nice little, almost like a U shape by the end of it, and then linear dodge add. And if you want to you put your hue and saturation up, I'm pressing control U by the way on this layer. Take my saturation, throw it up if I need to, throw my lightness down if I need to. You can find you can kind of find this really nice um, color, but I would say 
I don't know. I, this is this is if you want to choose to do this, um, but linear notch add in a color of your choice. Um, however, I think it looks really, really good this way because it has a lot of contrast, a lot of good looks to it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to talk to you guys later. So, so HQ out. <coughs> I'm just like... <laughs> I like what I want like this. I guess like a little fuzzy. Like it's just like, <laughs> so like in my throat. Anyway, talk to you guys later. So that's HQ out. So keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Look at my eyes are watering now. Unfortunate. Um, I'm out. Peace out. Peace. No.